Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 823 of One Piece today and I'm curious to see if Sanji is really going for that place where uh, Luffy is um, supposed to be waiting uh, for him um, and um, it was something to see him dealing with uh, his own emotions I mean it's like um, in his mind he wants to um, pretty much uh, die with his family so everything uh, will uh, be over um, but uh, his art uh, is is saying um, otherwise, so it's uh, it's like uh, it's impossible for him to just forget about uh, his friends, and now he's um, pretty much uh, following his art and uh, uh, doing it, so going uh, for Luffy, at least that's uh, what uh, I am hoping for, because they are heavily implying that... Um, the food um, Sanji cooked uh, for uh, Pudding uh, is going to, um, to be given to Luffy, so like right now he's starving, so it would also be really helpful. Um, but yeah, just really can't wait to see how things uh, will happen. So, hope you guys are ready, and let's start this episode. And now Brooke also knows about... Pudding, even though he can't do much like this. So these guys will also need to rescue Brooke at some point. It was also nice, but sad to learn about the the details of the plan. I mean, at least now I know how they are thinking about doing things. But I still want it to not happen. These. I really hope so. Everyone is... is going to know about Sanji now, what he did. Or he wants to deal with him himself or... Hmm, exactly it. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh my god, that drawing. That could easily be a poster. Imagine if they put that in the... on the Thousand Sunny, eventually. Because in the end, it's really well, well drawn, I mean, if, even if it's not... they don't look like that. It's still uh, art. Oh, that mean Big Mom is there as well. Wait, maybe they could see what's happening inside and learn about Pudding as well? Uh, never mind, Nami already knows, so... I don't remember if she already told them, but they should know as well, so... If she did. Hmm. 
I guess it's a fitting mirror. Oh, it's a trap. Hmm. It's actually... Yeah, big mom. That's going to be really risky. It's going to be really hard to get Brooke without her noticing. I mean, she's literally... Keeping him close. Big Mom's room. So it wasn't a trap, but they knew that it was a place where Big Mom, like her bedroom, pretty much. Yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Those bubbles. Yeah, they also need to be careful to not be seen. Oh. <laughs> Holy! Did they? Oh my god! <laughs> that was something. Did Big Mom hear though? Or not? Damn. Okay, that fly is... My god. Oh, she didn't see them. It was the fly that... Okay, that was really lucky. Yeah. I was about to say that fly is probably going to die. <laughs> Holy, probably didn't even feel a thing, just... Lights went out, instantly. It's another one. Wait, it... it escaped? I love this because of a fly. <laughs> Watch them have, having, like, being really hard for them to kill this fly with all of these attacks. <laughs> they just died in the inside. Did they get it? And they were able to see this, this amount of, of power. Man, this whole moment was something. It's not an easy task. I mean, at the same time, they were kind of lucky that fly enabled them to see a bit of what they're about to... Like, not exactly fight, but Big Mom's power, pretty much, so how terrifying it is. And thankfully, she didn't see them.
What are they doing? Oh, they're making a doll resembling Brooke to replace <laughs> with the real one. Smart, but I don't think... I don't know if Big Mom is going to be fooled by that. Oh. Oh, what if she gets inside somehow with them on the other side? They won't be able to go through the mirror again. A bit worried about that. Challenge one. Let's hope Chopper succeeds with those cute little paws. <laughs> she, it's just so adorable. Don't trip. Oh my god. I saw that rock and... So be really careful. Yeah, how can he even... Remove Brook? Really? He really needs to hold that. <laughs> Man, these guys just... Their hearts must be pumping really fast. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> oh my god, really? Damn! Oh, he came out though! And this is kind of typical, I mean, you like hold it and it's fine, and then it just... It just goes, like... <laughs> you have no control anymore. Surprised that it didn't wake the other guys up. Oh my god, that bubble is like covering... She has to like... She can blow it or she will wake up, but... She needs to find the right timing. No, it blows. Oh, it's expanding. Holy... Oh! The other one is awake though. <laughs> He's G. She's pretending a stuffed bunny. Hey, I wouldn't mind one of those. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, Nami's face says everything, <laughs> like... I can't believe all of this is working. <laughs> I mean, this is like... So unlucky. Oh, they're still thinking about the fly. She needs to be out.
I mean, this is really bad because I want them to save Brooke, but <laughs> it's happening in such a funny way. It's only fun and games until someone actually gets her, so let's hope it doesn't get to that point. It's really hard to wake him up. She's turning. Maybe that will help? Yeah. Man, it would be something if they were successful with this. Damn! That was really good! Eh, Pedro! <laughs> like Pedro with bro. Oh my god, that was him imagining it. Holy... I actually thought that happened. Oh my god. Could have been too good to be true, right? And he literally... Kinda broke his neck and didn't wake up. Now he's turn. At least now he's here, so... <laughs> I love when those pop. Oh, is he going to... Is he actually going to be scared? <laughs> and now she wakes up. They need to get out. Holy... And she's still thinking about the fly. <laughs> He's going to... Damn, that was clutch! Jinbei saves the day. Oh my god, Nami looks so cute. I really love the double ponytail. The everything is burning and she's like... Sleeping. But this was actually really funny. And thankfully they succeeded, so that was even better. Oh, Luffy's about to arrive there. Wonder, is it really going to happen? Is Sanji... Who's that? Oh, damn! Oh, it's this one! Yeah, now I really hope Sanji arrives. I don't think Luffy can do it. Like this. He's going. Oh, damn, this reminds me so much of before. When he was trying to give it to her, uh, to his mother, he was also attacked by one dog, right? And the food was like a mess, but his mother... Still ate it, she was really, really sweet. This whole scene feels so much like it. 
But instead of his mother, it's Luffy now. He almost has no strength. He's too hungry. Sanji going to... Oh, damn. He's going to pass out. I was wondering if Sanji could stop that. Like, be here right in time. Okay, it's actually ending like this, so... It's not happening yet, but... It's pretty clear that Sanji is... Uh, Doing everything he can to bring that food um, to Luffy. So yeah, that uh, definitely reminded me a lot of um, that backstory with uh, Sanji as a kid trying to deliver um, the food he had just made um, to uh, his mother. And then uh, I want to believe he got attacked by a dog while he was on his way. It was also raining and stuff and then the, the, the food um, like um, got some water as well. So it became all... Uh, I don't know, it became all messy, but um, uh, his mother still wanted to eat it. So it was a really wholesome uh, moment between Sanji and um, his mother. Um, and now um, it's giving me those vibes once again, but instead of um, his mother, uh, it's pretty much uh, with Luffy. So definitely um, something that um, eats me and uh, I really hope that Sanji gets there in time um, to, to save Luffy at this point because Luffy can't do anything else uh, while um, he's like this. Um, but yeah, it was um, on the other side really funny to see that, um, that whole moment with um, Nami and the others trying to s save Brook and it was really hard because he was literally being um, kept by Big Mom while both of them were sleeping. Um, but yeah, it was definitely really entertaining to see um, all of the strategies that they came up with to try and, um, and save Brook. Um, and in the end, they actually succeeded. So it was uh, pretty close. Like, thankfully, uh, Jinbei was um, able to rescue not only Brook, but also uh, Nami, who was uh, in uh, some big danger. Um, so yeah, it's uh, nice to see Brook um, with these guys now, so they, like, at least this is, um, this is solved for now at least, because Big Mom is probably going to be really pissed the moment she finds out about how Brook um, isn't actually there anymore, it's just a doll. I'm pretty sure that she's going to um, figure it out uh, really fast, um, but yeah, either way... I just really can't wait to, um, to see more uh, of this and uh, to see what exactly um, will happen during these uh, following moments. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.